Hello, my name is Carrie Brown and I'm with the Central Mississippi Regional Library System. Today, I'm going to be reading to you, No Pirates Allowed, said Library Lou, written by Rhonda Gowler Green. At Sea Breezy Library, things were just right. Book lovers were cozy, the sky was blue bright. When shiver me timbers! Through Sea Breezy's door, stormed big pirate Pete and his parrot, Igor. War be the treasure! X marks this spot. We'll dig up the loot and steal all that you've got. Squawk! Igor squawked as Pete muttered an arg. Then Big Pete let loose with a scary, so thar. Chills ran down spines as those readers all shook. They hid behind bookshelves, but ventured a look. And what was that odor? Disgusting! Phew! you But no one at Sea Breezy knew what to do. Except Library Lou, who dashed over to see what all the unruly commotion could be. May I help you? Lou asked with a pinch of a frown. This is a library. Shh! Quiet down. Arg! Big Pete thundered. Don't waste me day. Walk the plank, saucy lass, or show me the way. At Sea Breezy then, you could hear a pin drop. All that tough ruffian talk and squawk stopped, for Library Lou looked Pete right in the eye as Pete stood his ground with a snarl. Oh, my. Minute by minute, their tempers both flared as they stood head to head and doggedly dared. Unless you be quiet and listen up, too, no pirates allowed, said Library Lou. Squawk! Igor squawked with a blow-me-down glare. Then Library Lou boldly added, So there! Arrgh! Now, where's the treasure map? Lou asked. Ah, yes. The treasure is here, she said, just as I guessed. I'll help you find it, but first I must ask of you and your matey a wee smallish task. Go home, take a bath, change your underwear too. Then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. Arg! A landlubber telling Big Pete what to do? But she said there be treasure. Sink me, tis true. So... That night, Pete scrubbed 13 layers of dirt and decided clean underwear couldn't hurt. Squawking Igor got a good scrubbing too. Swish! Through the sea sailed their funky P.U. Then later they dreamed of a treasure or two. Squawk! The next day they burst through that library door with a fresh soapy scent, but as loud as before. Mateys, your manners, said Library Lou. Now come, follow me. We have much work to do. Aye. Big Pete grabbed his picks and his axe and his shovel. But Library Lou said, don't go to the trouble. But Lassie, the loot. Lou said, not yet. First, say ahoy to these letters, this fine alphabet. Letters, Pete scowled. There be more than X. Lou spread them all out. Big Pete looked perplexed. Blimey, cried Big Pete. A code of old, a secret one, I, to find the sweet gold. Library Lou grinned a witty wise grin. Brilliant, she cried. Now time to begin. Here they are, all of them, pleased to meet you. Isn't this fun, said Library Lou. Fun, Big Pete sneered. It be torture, no less. Me'd rather be kissing a fat treasure chest. So many letters, Big Pete got confused. W's, H's, S's, and Q's. Some she called vowels. A's, E's, I's, O's, and U's. Soon Lou took some letters and mixed them about. Look, exclaimed Lou, words to sound out. Now here is a stack you may take home with you. Then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. Upon the poop deck, Pete practiced that night. He practiced each word till he got each word right. Igor, he bragged, we'll hold riches untold, cause us, we be hard-working gluttons for gold. 
Yes, day after day after day he went back, and night after night Lou piled high a new stack. Soon, Big Pete was reading not small words, but big. Swashbuckling buccaneer thingamajig. But Pete got impatient. He worked day and night, and still not a trinket or treasure in sight. One day he barked at Lou. Do what ye told. Ye said ye'd be helping me find that sweet gold. Correct, answered Lou. In a book there's a clue. I've given my help. It's now up to you. Pete stared at those books lined up shelf after shelf. A code, a clue. Arg! Me find em meself. Maybe, just maybe, the code be in rhyme. He loved Mother Goose, Dr. Seuss, how sublime. They tickled his fancy, but no secret code. Avast! Easy readers! He snatched frog and toad. Day after day, he went back, and night after night, he piled high a new stack. He found books called classics, great tales of the sea. Blimey! cried Big Pete. Thar's where the clue be! Treasure Island? Me like it! But no clue to be found. Stumped, Big Pete scoured each shelf up and down. Gangway, the nonfiction, thar's where she be. Soon luscious loot, fancy free on the sea. Those factual books Big Pete came to love. He read about things he'd never heard of. Stink bugs and baseball and surfing and Mars. Dinosaurs, mummies, electric guitars. Pete's picks and his axe and his shovel got dusty. At piratey ways, Big Pete got a mite rusty. Now, Pete wasn't a pirate just dreaming of loot, but a reader he was, and a good one to boot. When one book was finished, yes, when one was done, Pete picked up another. Oh, reading was fun. He read and he read and he read and he read. Then suddenly one night, Pete popped up in bed. The next day, at Sea Breezy Library, things were just right. Book lovers were cozy, the sky was blue bright. When Big Pete and Igor tiptoed through the door, shh, and spied Library Lou in aisle 404. They both gave her hugs, each a kiss too. We've come to thank ye, Miss Library Lou. Cause of ye, now we know, books be the treasure. Shucks, whispered Lou, it's been my pleasure. Now, Library Lou, with a smile big and proud, is hanging a sign that says, Pirates, aloud. The end. Thank you. Goodbye.